We have to count it for minute. The pulse rate is 66 beats per minute. Okay. Next is we check the respiratory rate. Okay, the respiratory rate is 18 cycles per minute. If you would notice, when I was uh, counting the respiratory rate, I, uh, I let the patient assume that I am still counting the pulse rate. Uh, the reason for that is because if the patient is aware that you are counting the RR, sometimes they can alter the, their respiratory rate. Either they can breathe rapidly or they can control their breathing and, and uh, breathe slowly. So, so that you will get the actual RR, you have to let the patient believe that you are still counting the pulse rate, but actually, you are already watching the rise and fall of the chest. Okay, so that's for the RR. Then also, you can also get the cardiac rate. Uh, so when you are checking for the cardiac rate, you use your stethoscope. Okay, this time you use the diaphragm. Okay, and then uh, when you, then you listen at the uh, apex, apex area, the apical area which is at, 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 the, at the area of the fifth intercostal space left midclavicular line. Okay, so again, so this is how we put on our stethoscope. So we put it in the uh, respiratory, uh, in, the, uh, in the apical area. Okay, and this time you tell the patient to just breathe normally. Uh, because if you, if some patients when you put on the stethoscope on them, tendency nila na hihinga ng malalim. No? Pero you have to tell them, uh, hinga po kayo ng normal lang. Kasi pag huminga ng malalim, hindi heart sound sa maririnig mo, kundi breath sound sa maririnig mo. Okay? So, normal lang pong hinga. So, for purposes of demo, no? uh, dinemo lang natin, no? pero it's that way. No? You listen at the area of the apex for the cardiac rate. Okay, uh, so we're finished with the blood pressure, the pulse rate, and the RR. This time we check the temperature. So this is the one that we use. The, we have we, there are different types of thermometer. You have your uh, digital thermometer. You have your uh, forehead scanner. Sometimes they even have strips, and they also have the uh, the ear thermometer. No, but what we're going to use is the forehead scan. No, this is, these are the ones that we usually see uh, ngayon, especially it's COVID times. So this is the one that we use in the malls or wherever, no? Okay, so you just uh, place it in, 
front and then click it. Okay, so your temperature is 36.3. Okay? Okay, cut.